Okay, so today, um, uh, some interesting news. I had just been... Oh, wait a sec. Where is that? Oh, stuff in the background. Okay, never mind. Anyway, interesting news today. Um, I checked my YouTube account and was just browsing through the statistics, the statistics of my YouTube account. And I found that, um, interestingly enough, uh, I got some... I mean, they informed me, YouTube informed me, that uh, I had just made 10 cents. 10 US cents. Um, 0 0.10 US dollars. I'm, I'm just simply astounded. Uh, I had no idea that I could actually make money from making YouTube videos. I mean, I knew I could make money from YouTube videos. It's just that, you know, the first time that you see some money trickle into the account, you're like, oh my god, it's really happening! Um, so anyway, I found out that one of the videos that had been making the most money is this video about the video audio comparison between the um, Shure shotgun mic and the Smart Lair from Rode. Um, so I decided to, oh, that particular video made 6 cents out of the 10 cents that I earned. Um, which is quite amazing. I mean, one video earning 60% of the income that you receive. It's got to be something special about that video. So I figure like maybe audio comparisons, video comparisons, that might be something that um, people might like on YouTube. So here I am. I happen to have the uh, Panasonic Nocticron. Um, just take the lens cap off, no, lens hood off. Uh, this is what it looks like, the Panasonic Nocticron. Um, let's just get myself in focus again. I should be in focus. Um, yeah, the, the Panasonic Nocticron 42.5 millimeters. Um, and so I'm going to compare this to the 30, no, 25 millimeter Summilux lens, which is the lens that I'm currently using to shoot this. Um, and I'll do a series of samples and comparisons uh, at different f stops, different uh, shutter speeds and different ISOs so that you can see um, how the videos go. So I hope you enjoy the video. Here we are, we're looking at the video footage from the Panasonic GH4 using the 42.5mm um, f1.2 f1.2 or f1.4, I can't quite remember. Well anyway, this is the Nocticron lens. This is the video footage from the Nocticron, Nocticron lens. Uh, you can see that um, I am clearly in focus and this is at aperture 1.2 uh, and you can also see the bokeh balls back in the background. I have intentionally placed two lights over there so that you can see what it looks like when um, the background is uh, out of focus. So this is the Nocticron. And this is uh, the Nocticron again at, um, I've adjusted the uh, f-stop, uh, this is now at f2.0, uh, the shutter speed has also been decreased to compensate for the um, smaller, bigger, bigger, bigger aperture size. The uh, shutter speed now is at 160, uh, 160 of a second. Uh, I think that's what it's supposed to be. Um, I'm not using any lights. Uh, this is natural light coming in from my window. Um, uh, this is sh being shot in during the day. Yeah. And then this is the video, same video. Um, and this video, oh, sorry, this is another sample of the video footage from the Nocticron. Uh, this time the Nocticron is at f4.0 and the shutter speed is at uh, 1 60th of a second. Uh, I had again to compensate by, uh, by adjusting the ISO. The ISO is now 400. In the previous two sam samples, they were at 200. Um, so this is what it looks like. You can see that the uh, foreground is in focus. At the same time, the background is starting to come a little bit more into focus and the bokeh balls aren't as nice and bokehlicious as they were in the previous two samples. Um, this video sample is using the 25mm Laker lens from Panasonic. Um, this is the Summilux lens. Um, 
Samilux versus Noctichron. Samilux and Noctichron. You know there's something special with the lenses when they have uh, special names attached to it. This particular lens setting is set at 1.4, f-stop 1.4, and the shutter speed is at 200. So again, you can see the background is nice and creamy. Uh, there's a nice blur in the background. Uh, the balls and the bokeh balls are nice and round. Um, okay, so that's, that's this one. Next up, we have um, the same lens, the Panasonic Leica 25mm Samilux. Uh, this time around, the f-stop is at 2.0 and the shutter speed is at um, 80, 1 80th of a second. Um, you can see again the background is starting to come slightly into focus. Um, still round bokeh balls, um, good quality I think. Um, and in this particular uh, sample, the f-stop is at 4.0 uh, and shutter speed at 50th, 150th of a second. Uh, ISO is at 400 to compensate for the, the slightly lower shutter speed. Um, and you can see in this footage, in this sample, that the lights start to you know become a bit clearer you can kind of make out the edges of the light they aren't as round and creamy as as they were in the previous samples